Hello! Jess here with a card using the adorable Big Picture Book Otter die from the new December release from Simon Says Stamp. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I adore otters, so I was especially thrilled to see an otter added to the Big Picture Book die series. So let's get started. Today I'm using Craft, Soft Navy, Black and Silver Glitter cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, as well as Oatmeal cardstock from W Plus 9 for my die cutting. First, I die cut the Tickle Breeze die three times from Soft Navy cardstock to create my background. I like that it looks like bubbles in the water. Next, I die cut the otter's muzzle and belly from Oatmeal cardstock, the body from Craft, and the eyes and nose from Black cardstock. Then I add Distress Oxide Blending to give the otter a little shading. I use a life-changing blender brush from Picket Friends Studios to blend tea dye Distress Oxide ink around the edge of the otter's body. Next, I add gathered twigs to darken the edges. Then I tuck a few scraps of copy paper under the arm of the otter and add shading to the underside of each arm. After the arms are finished, I decide to add even more ground espresso to the sides of the body for even more shading. I use a piece of scrap paper to hold the otter in place so I won't accidentally smudge the ink with my fingers. I clean off my blender brush by rubbing it on scrap paper until no more ink comes off. Then I add gathered twigs and ground espresso distress oxide ink to each ear. Next, I blend tea dye Distress Oxide Ink around the otter's belly and add a little extra contrast with Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide Ink. I add the same colors around the otter's muzzle.
finally, I used a tiny blending brush to add Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide Ink to the otter's cheeks and ears. Next, I adhere a piece of silver glitter paper to a white card base. Then I adhere the soft navy panel over the glitter panel so the bubbles will be sparkly silver. I use foam mounting tape to add the otter's body to my card. Then I add the otter's muzzle, ears, and nose. I tuck in the snowflake before I realize I've forgotten the otter's belly. I add a few gel pen accents to the otter's eyes and nose, and then remove the snowflake and add the otter's belly first. The Rena Snowflake is die cut with silver glitter cardstock and I adhere it with a drop of liquid glue in the center of the snowflake. This allows the snowflake to have a little dimension as the arms curl up just slightly. Next, I stamp the sentiment from Punny Animals onto cotton candy pink cardstock with a VersaFine and heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. I decided to stamp the sentiment twice as the first time was a little heavy handed and uneven on one side. After heat embossing, I die cut it with the sentiment label dies. Then I use a combination of foam mounting tape and regular adhesive to add it to the bottom of my card. Finally, I add a little Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle to the otter's nose, ears, and eyes, and cheeks, and top it with a little Nouveau Crystal Glaze on the nose and eyes.
And that's it. The December 2018 release from Simon to Stamp is now live and you can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting! Bye!